Hey guys, it's Apostle Michelle Peterson. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, you guys, I wanted to do a video for you guys. Um, today I was going to record this earlier. I went to this um, prayer luncheon today. This beautiful pastor that I know. I love her with all my heart. Um, she's so beautiful inside. is really, really beautiful. And so I went to support her luncheon that she had today. And so I had to go out of town. And so I'm just now getting back into town. So I was going to record a video while I was going there. Um, but, um, I, my, I had to use my GPS, so I didn't want to have a video recording a video with my GPS on the phone. So I'm recording this kind of late, so it's, um, getting a little dark, so I want to hurry up and do this video. But I wanted to do a video about why I don't celebrate Christmas. I actually do have a video. Uh, it's an old video that I did a couple of years ago about what the Lord actually told me about Christmas. But the reason why I don't celebrate Christmas, um, anymore and um, um, when I became a deliverance minister, a lot of you guys already know that. Um, and a lot of times we already know that Chris Christmas and a lot of these other holidays are pagan holidays. We, we kind of already know that. Most people already know that. But in deliverance, that's one of the things that you learn. You know, Christmas is a pagan holiday. This holiday is so many things. It's like pagan. But we try to switch it around, you know, and we try to make it good. Okay. And it's nothing wrong with, you know, trying to make something good. Um, but the thing about Christmas is, 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 um, is some things about Christmas that makes it different from other holidays. And this is what the Lord actually told me about Christmas. He said, the whole thing about Christmas that makes it pretty much demonic is the Christmas tree. The Christmas tree really changes the whole thing when it comes to Christmas because the Christmas tree, Lord actually showed me, well, he told me the Christmas tree was a demonic God that people actually worship. They worship this tree, okay? And the demonic God that they worshiped, his name was Christopher. Okay, so there's a demonic God that people worship named Christopher. That's where we get Christopher, Kris Kringle, which is Santa Claus. Um, Santa Claus is supposed to be this eternal being. He has his little imps, his little elves. You know, they're, they're his helpers. But Santa Claus is the eternal being that comes to your house, comes down your chimney, and leaves you these gifts, you know. So this is a demonic god. <laughs> that people actually worship in the tree is the God that they worship. And so the Lord actually showed me a vision of this. This is, this is what disturbed me so much about Chris, the Christmas tree. When he showed me the vision, the vision, they worship this tree and what they would do, they would sacrifice their children, you guys. And the Bible talks about it's a lot of different um, idolatry religions that people would sac sacrifice their children. They would give sacrifices to these demonic gods. And so this God was actually a tree that people worship and they would sacrifice their children and throw the bodies of their dead children underneath this tree. You guys, I actually saw a vision of it. I saw the bodies stacked up high underneath this tree that was dead bodies of kids underneath this tree that was given to this tree, this demonic God, as a gift, okay? So the sacrifices of the children to this demonic God, this tree, was a gift. That was the gift that they put underneath this tree as his gift. That was his gift, you guys. So, I mean, we we don't sacrifice anything and give it to this tree, but what we do, we put gifts underneath the tree, and the gifts could be for our children. It could be for whoever. But we put the gifts underneath this tree. We still do the same thing. We just don't know what we're doing. But the thing, you guys, is is this tree. The tree is the thing that we have to get out of our house. The tree is the thing that when you think about it, what do we do to the tree? We dress the tree up. We adorn the tree. We put all these beautiful sparkly ornaments on it. We dress it up. We deck it. No, we make it beautiful. It's a tree. And we, we you know, bring this thing into our house that was a, a demonic God. And we have, you know, when you put everything together, 
And I know we really want to celebrate the birth of Jesus on this day. We want to um, participate in all of this because this is what we've been told. Um, we grew up thinking Santa Claus was real. We've been lied to. All of this is deception, you guys. When you think about it, the whole the whole holiday is built on deception. You tell your kids when they're young that Santa Claus is the one giving them the presents. Who's giving them the presents? Is Santa Claus giving them the presents? Some eternal being with elves, demonic spirits around him, helping him um, do all of these things? Is, is this being coming down your chimney, giving your kids toys? No, that's a lie. So we start out with this whole lie, this whole thing. The whole thing is built on a lie. It's deception. That's the, that's the way the enemy does things to have us, you know, basically brainwashed to, to uh, practice this thing. Even Christians, even God's people, you know, we, we lie to our kids and tell our kids it's, it's the Santa Claus. Um, and we're not the ones, you know, but, but when you put everything together, it's, I mean, when you put everything together, you can see it's based on a lie. Everything is a lie. The tree is a lie. Santa Claus is a lie. The elves is a lie. Reindeers is a lie. Rudolph is a lie. All of that is a lie. And we participate in it. Um, we just feel like, okay, it's innocent. You know, God knows my heart. He knows I don't really believe in these things. Well, why are you teaching this to your kids? Do you know you have to untrain your kids once you put this in them? You have to untrain them later on that Santa Claus is not real. They really believe you. They think you're telling them the truth. And so the whole thing is built on a lie. And so even though all of us know that, we know, okay, yeah, we know that. I don't, even, I tell my kids there's no Santa Claus. You know, I tell them that. Okay, so do you have a Christmas tree in your house? Um, And okay, Apostle, it's okay. You know, we can celebrate the birth of Jesus, you know, on that day. You know, it's okay. It's, we're not hurting anybody, but. Why do you have the Christmas tree in your house? What does the Christmas tree have to do with Jesus? Was he born underneath the Christmas tree? Was this tree somehow, you know, like a gift to him or something? The Christmas tree doesn't have anything to do with Christ, doesn't have anything to do with Jesus. It's a demonic God called Christopher that they would worship and give gifts to. So when the Lord actually showed me this vision of this tree, it had dead bodies of kids underneath it. And he told me that the tree was a demonic God that people worship. And those kids underneath that tree was a sacrifice they would give to this tree. There's, you know, people still worship trees in other countries like um, Africa. They have trees there that they worship. Um, it's different, you know, places. They still have trees that they actually worship. This tree is a God to them. So you guys, <clears throat> when the Lord showed me this, it, it made me sick to my stomach because that year I had actually bought a tree and brought it into the house. And I'm pretty sure that's probably why he showed that to me because before I knew Christmas, you know, I knew Christmas was pagan and I didn't really mess around with Christmas, especially getting a tree and doing all that celebration. Uh, I would just give gifts. But that one year I wanted to uh, celebrate Christmas because my daughter had a tree at her house and my grandkids, I wanted them whenever they came to my house, I wanted to have the whole atmosphere all Christmassy. So I brought a, a tree that year and I decorated it and every, everything. And so the Lord showed me that. When he showed me that, I was so sick to my stomach. I got that tree that I had bought and decorated and made it all beautiful. You know, like decorated this thing that symbolizes a God. So I decorated it and made it pretty. And so I took that thing. I threw it in the trash can that day. I was like, you are getting out of this house. And I threw it out. And I had to ask the Lord to forgive me for bringing that in. Um, it's just like bringing a cursed object into our house. You know, you guys, when we talk about cursed objects, when you bring a cursed ob object into your house, your whole house becomes cursed. Especially if you bring something that's ta attached to a demonic God, your, her your house is really going to be cursed. You're going to have, you know, strife and all types of stuff going on in your house. Kids rebelling, all of this stuff that's going to be going on in your house because we bring this thing in our house. And then a lot of times... We store the Christmas tree in our house until next year. Some people buy one every single year, but sometimes we store it, especially if, especially if it's an artificial type of tree, we'll store it in our house. So this thing lives in our house with us 
all year long, 24 hours a day. We go to sleep with this uh, cursed object uh, that represents a demonic God in our house. So I threw the thing out. I was so sick. Um, the vision, when I saw the dead, when I saw the kids underneath it, sacrifice, that made me sick. So it took me a while to get that out of my spirit. Um, it took a long time because that was like, like I had to actually try not to be so disgusted when I look like if I'm at the store and I see a Christmas tree, like I had to try not to be so disgusted when I seen that tree because I know what it represents. And so the Lord was telling me earlier, you know, people don't know, they don't understand the meaning of it. Christians don't understand the meaning of it. People don't understand the meaning of the tree. But you guys, this is something I want to say. I know we don't want to, you know, stop our kids from enjoying, you know, the experience of that season. But what we can do instead of actually bringing a Christmas tree in our house if we're going to celebrate that time and still give our, I think, you know, it's okay to give your children gifts. This is what I would do instead of celebrating Christmas and the Christmas tree and all of that. Just, you know, take the whole week, the whole week of Christmas from, um, you know, the first day, like seven whole days, that whole week, take that whole week, maybe buy your kids gifts and let them celebrate for the whole week and say, well, we, we're not celebrating Christmas, but we're celebrating the birth of Jesus and we get gifts all week. And they can open up a gift, you know, every single day of the week. Don't just put it on one day, 25th, and we're celebrating Christmas. You know, instead of like taking the whole experience, you know, where all the other kids are getting gifts on Christmas. Give them some gifts for the whole week. But you can say this is we're celebrating the birth of Jesus. This isn't Christmas. This is, you know, Jesus' birthday. Call it something different. You don't have to celebrate Christmas and the Christmas tree. You can celebrate that whole week with your kids so they can still enjoy getting gifts so that they don't have to watch all the other kids as celebrating Christmas. They get gifts. They can get gifts for the whole week. No, but they're celebrating the birth of Jesus for a whole entire week. They get gifts. Something different. Just, you guys, don't it's no reason to have a Christmas tree in your house. It doesn't have anything to do with Jesus. It doesn't have anything to do with God. So that whole part, we don't have to have that. We can just, like I said, make up your own name for it. Jesus' birthday, Jesus' birthday week. You know how we have our birthday? We might have our birthday month or something like that. It's starting to get a little dark. Uh, let me try to get a different light. <laughs> But you know how we have a birthday month and we celebrate our birthday for the whole month or some people, you know, a whole week, your whole birthday week. Do something like that. This could be Jesus whole birthday week or Jesus whole birthday month. And, um, you know, like for the whole week, they can open up a present, you know, something like that. You don't have to call it Christmas. But I wanted to say this because um, that's the reason why I don't celebrate Christmas anymore. And this year I decided to celebrate Hanukkah and what I'm going to do with my grandkids, I'm going to give them gifts, but I'm going to give them gifts. I'll probably give them gifts like, you know, maybe every day, the week of Christmas so that they can actually still be able to enjoy um, receiving gifts and just be honest with them um, about the meaning of it and not lie because it's, it's good for them to know the truth. Um, it's good for them to know the truth, the reason why. You know, you're not doing something. So, um, but I wanted to share that because um, you guys, like, that's something that really, really hurts, hurts the Lord's heart. I remember whenever he was first telling me about it, I could almost hear him crying, telling me about it, you guys. That's something that hurts him. Anything that's got to do with idolatry, his own people bringing an idol God into their homes and decorating it and dressing it up and giving it all this special treatment, um, a tree. And it hurt his heart when he was telling me about it. I can hear it. It was, it sounded like he was crying, but I just, I heard the pain in his heart and it hurt me. Anytime you hear, anytime you hear God cry, or something that hurts him and you hear it in his voice, it's going to shake you. It's, it's, it's just not something you can ever forget. And so, um, 
I just want you guys to know his heart about that. Um, and he doesn't want curses and bad things coming upon our house or the enemy attacking our house because we're doing something we don't know the meaning of it. But um, I just wanted to share this, share this with you guys. And it is getting dark, so I don't know. I don't want to turn all the lights on in here. Because <laughs> I'm at the park and some people here. So somebody parked right there, right beside me. So I don't want them looking all in my face. But, um, but you guys, we are children of God. And we don't want to give the enemy extra access.